How are we doing guys? It is early February here. I'm still in central New York. Um, just to give you guys an update, I am heading to Texas uh, mid-February and uh, you know it's uh, it's uh, not exactly the location I had planned on. Uh, I wanted to really try to get as close to Austin as possible uh, for work and I uh, just wasn't able to make that work. I ended up taking uh, a position in Center, Texas. It's East Texas. Um, now the good news about this position is it's smack dab between Sam Rayburn and Toledo Bend. So obviously tremendous bass fisheries down in Texas. I'm super excited to fish those and have an opportunity at some, some really big fish. Uh, but on the, you know, the bad side of that is obvi that's, you know, four or five hours away from Austin and really far from a lot of those cats tournaments and tournament trails out, out that way. So I don't think I'm going to be able to fish as many as I had hoped. I'm still going to try to make a couple, uh, but obviously it's going to be a little bit harder being further away. Um, but yeah, today is a nice uh, 30 degrees or so. It's been really cold for the past couple months here. And, um, you know, obviously I haven't been on the water. I don't ice fish. But, uh, you know, today just wanted to get out on the water, going out with a couple buddies, and uh, gonna try to get on some fish. No real high expectations for sure. Um, I've never even caught a fish this time of year, especially in New York. Um, the water temps are probably in the low 30s, uh, maybe 20s. I know a lot of the water around here is frozen. Uh, but today we're actually going to go to uh, Van Cleef Lake, which is downtown Seneca Falls. So it's just about five minutes from here. And uh, Van Cleef Lake is actually a widening of the canal uh, right before one of the major locks. Um, and it's a very deep part of the canal. It was actually part of the town at one point and uh, then they just filled it in with water for the canal system but it's very deep. Um, it's almost like a giant bowl so uh, I know there are fish in there um, and these fish you know in the past these fish would be for me at least only easy to catch during the spawn because it's it is like I said a bowl shape so these fish will move up shallow just for the spawn and immediately after they'll go back out deep and when I say deep I'm talking 35 foot 40 foot of water just 10 feet off the bank the entire uh, lake so you know that's that's kind of the challenge today uh, definitely gonna have to use electronics to maybe locate some fish and who knows what will happen but uh, either way going to Texas in a couple weeks so fishing should be a lot better then and uh, stay tuned A little slippery. Look how wide that thing is. You, it'd be hard to tip that thing. What's up, John? Oh, <laughs> Heard you got some spots marked here, and they're iced over. <laughs> yeah, there's one. Do you know how there's like old foundation? Yeah, yeah. On yeah, there's like some bricks that stick up, right? Yeah. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Let's do a little sonar and down vision. <sighs> About uh, 20 yards off the bank and I'm already in uh, 20 foot of water. <sighs> Love the Navionics on this uh, lake. It's got like one contour line.
to drop a rod what was tied to it was it like a floating suspending jerk bait or something no, just... oh <laughs> What are we in right now? 25, 30 foot? 25. Drag a jig, see if I can hook it. You seeing anything on your graph? Neither am I. Might be around some fish here. I think there's some fish. I don't know what they are. But finally getting some activity on the on the fish finder. Could be could be carp though. Well, what do you think it'll take to win the uh, national championship? Yeah, yeah, I think I'll take it. What's it? Oh, is it five fish limit? It's gonna be at least 101 a day. Yeah. Oh, I thought I had something. It got me excited. Yeah, that, well, I thought that when that guy said he caught the pike, I thought he meant here, but he just said it was on the other side, so. Actually, I've never fished down where he's talked about either. I, this is the farthest I've fished down with you. You, but you know where he's talking about, right? Yeah. All right, no luck on the kayaks, so we're going on the other side of the locks. Gonna do some bank fishing. Start out with a jerk bait. So this is where you, you brought your kayak for the tournament, or yeah. really? The water was a lot higher. That, wow, that is low, holy smoke. You can tell how low this is. Wow, there's like a giant ball of bait right there. That's crazy. I see that. Holy crap. They're just sitting right there. Oh, look at that. You know what? Is that a shad? That's not a shad. What is that? Catch one? Yeah, I didn't even see it on my... Uh... Well, I don't even know what that is. It's not a shad. That's a... Oh, I don't even know what it is. That's a weird looking fish. Hmm. Yeah. Almost looks like a good little drop shot bait. It almost looks like a real skinny smelt. Yeah. You know what that is? Yeah, it's smelt. Oh, it's is a it? smelt? It, it looks like it. Well, there's like a thousand too. smelt over there. What? You see that little shell bed right there? Like, you see a little bit of shell? There's like a black. Oh, yeah. Kind of run that way. That's what I fish I saw. What the heck? I think it might be a gold. <sighs> 
nothing. Well, unfortunately guys, today went pretty much as expected. Uh, not really seeing a lot on the graph, not seeing a whole lot of activity. Uh, really didn't even find any fish, to be honest with you, which, uh, you know, that, that can happen this time of year. Um, but, you know, just, it was, it felt good to get out on the water, felt good to get out on the kayak again and do some fishing. Um, I'll probably end up fishing one more time here in New York before I make my way down to Texas and I'll probably try to find uh, some pickerel or some pike, some fish that I know I can target with a lot better uh, success than, than the bass fishing right now. Hey, if any of you guys are kayak fishermen uh, down by Toledo Bend, Sam Rayburn, let me know. But other than that, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys for the next video.